Hey everybody out there, how's it going? Hey guys, how's everything today? Uh, you see here, simple skull. I'm going to show you guys how to do this in a very short video. I'm going to show you a different method that I use for achieving this. Uh, this is the simple way to do the skull. This is beginner skull. This is something that I would recommend anybody learning how to carve. Try this piece. And this is the basics right here of how it's done. See, I didn't take anything out of the back yet. We're just focusing on the face and the, the jaw line. And that's what this video covers. I uh, hope everyone's been good. and I hope this one helps people understand a little bit simpler way of looking at things. Uh, you saw my other skull videos, which I like them personally. Those are, you know, those are how I do my skulls, but this is a simple one. It's using the five-step method. And I think anyone can figure this one out uh, if you just follow the video, hit pause, rewind. You can learn this. It's perfect beginner lesson. So thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe. And as we're gonna make this our head, and we're gonna start off uh, doing like an upside down egg because in, in drawing class they teach you that a skull or a head is like an upside down egg sort of shape so we're going to go with that first and then I'm going to just draw in and I'll show you what I do beginner to try it's an actually it's an easy thing to do you saw how I just kind of went around slowly right I'm not perfect either right I could come in here and smooth this out and you just use the side of that bar it's a perfect beginner technique <laughs> So there, I kind of have the egg shape. It's not perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. But now we have a basis to start with, right? You can go narrower on the bottom if you want. You don't have to. What I'm trying to show here is how you use that as a basic shape. And then you start to draw in your features out of there. <laughs> to go back to that video that I made where I showed the five cuts to make a face all right so we're gonna do that but we're gonna do that lightly here we're not gonna go super deep so here's one
Okay, so you see it's not perfect. It is a face to find. You saw in those videos, go back to my face carving videos because that's what we're building off of and that's where we're going to draw in the features of the skull. Now watch what I do here. We're going to use the tip of the bar sweeping back and forth to get almost everything defined. <laughs> Anybody can get to this point. You see a face. There's a face there. Right? You can carve a face. I show you in two, three, four different videos how to carve faces. See, it's not right. He looks like a Roman soldier. His forehead's a little bit high. But whatever. We're going to adjust all that as we go. The next thing we want to do is now we want to shape the nose. Because that's and, and the nose on a skull, you don't, have, you don't have the tip of a nose like you do here, right? It goes in, right? Comes out to a point this way, right? Profile-wise, goes forehead, tip of the nose, then it curves back in, down. I think that's called the septum or whatever. Uh, skulls have that. It's a bone. It goes up in. It goes backwards up into the skull. There, we're leaving the eyes. We have the nose and the eyes in already, right? Just off of a simple shape of a head. So we're going to shape the nose before we go any further. To shape the nose, I'm going to start with the eyebrows. We want to shape the nose, but to start, we want to shape the eyebrows and establish where they're going to be. Filed in, it's roughed in. Now we can start shaping things before we even get to the mouth or anything else. <laughs> Okay, so we have the eyes and the nose established. 
Now this is gonna go pretty quick, so stick with me. We are going to put the cheeks in and we are gonna define where the teeth, the jaw go, all those things. You notice I didn't go in real far for the teeth yet. We're gonna still work the cheeks. Next we're going to work the cheekbone line because that, the cheekbone line goes above the jaw. The jaw goes under the cheekbone line. Right, I'm not I'm not getting real complicated with this one. It's just the line back, and then we're gonna have this indent. We'll do that at the end because that will make it look more skull-like. It'll define the eyes. We're just making the jaw come down and it, it disappears. It it comes in behind the the bottom teeth, right? The back of the jaw goes straight down to the chin. Pretty simple. We're keeping it as simple as possible. Now we're going to take out this piece. Again, that's just profile stuff. I made the chin and the bottom teeth now, kind of, and now I'm going to blend. Blend using the tip. See, there's the line for the back of my teeth, top and bottom. It doesn't have to get really complicated. You can do this really simple like this. That's what I like about this project. Beginner skull, guys. There it is. I mean, there's your shape, right? There's your basic shape. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. We're learning here. I'm never perfect. Now watch, watch how easy I make this for you guys right now. We'll finish this with a, like five cuts. Well, minus the teeth. The teeth is a bunch of cuts, but you'll see what I'm going to do.
Okay, what do you guys think? I mean, this is all beginner stuff. You get yourself a carving bar. This is beginner basic stuff. That plunge cuts, the, the sideways sweeping with the tip, like using the tip sideways sweeping, right? All this rounding, smoothing with the side of the saw. Uh, that's all beginner stuff. You want to learn that as a beginner. So I like it. I think it's quick, it's bold, it's done, right? I could, how, how long has it been to do this explaining it? You know, I could do these all day, but I'll show you some last minute features that I want to put in and then we're done. Skull 101. We're gonna stop there. I could go crazy with detail on this thing if I wanted to. But that's essentially it. You go from a basic head shape and just pull the skull out. Thanks for watching everybody. This one was fun. Little easy project any carver can do when you start out. Have a good one.